we've got Cesc Fabregas becoming head coach at Serie A club Como. Um, Cesc Fabregas has become the head coach of Serie A club Como, having previously worked there as their assistant head coach. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, so Cesc Fabregas, I think him and Thierry Henry and a couple of other people had sort of invested into this club. Um, Cesc had played played football for Como. You know, he ended his career at Como. I think they were in Serie B or Serie C at the time. Um, you know, I think Serie B or Serie C at the time. And invested in the club, really liked the project where they were going with it. Once Cesc Fabregas then retired, he then become a, became the coach. Um, yeah, he was promoted to the head coach and managed them, but then well, he managed them as caretaker. Then I think stepped down because I think to manage in Serie B or Serie A, he needed to have a coaching license that he didn't have at that time. So he started to um, train for that, started to learn for that, and then was the assistant coach for this past season. And now he's got his license, he can now become the head coach again. So it's really interesting to see, you know, a player like Cesc Fabregas going to Italy. You know, Cesc Fabregas was one of my first favourite players. So I started watching football, I want to say around 2007, 2008, and I'm an Arsenal fan. So basketball, Lakers, football, Arsenal. And Fabregas was one of my first favourite players. I think he might have been the captain around that time. Um, you know, was young, was, was you know, come through the Arsenal Academy. I think he joined Arsenal at 15. Um was you know such a good player you know a midfield maestro you know playing for Arsenal you know he was a young Spanish player with sauce that was playing for Arsenal I was really happy to see him playing for Arsenal unfortunately he left I understand why I mean he was kind of tapped up by the Barcelona boys and wanted to go back to his boyhood club went back to Barcelona um, and then had the opportunity to come back to Arsenal I think I'm not sure if a lot of people know that but he had the opportunity to come back to Arsenal and Wenger said no because he said we had Granit Xhaka I know, I know. <sighs> so Fabregas went to Chelsea, won the Premier League with Chelsea. Never came back to Arsenal, even though I would have opened him back with, um, I would have welcomed him back with open arms. But hey ho, that's the game. But Cesc Fabregas is managing Como. They're at the Serie A. Um, there are young, you know, there's a lot of young players in that team. A lot of unknown talent. Um, Fabregas said, you know, it's going to be a tough and important season. But myself and the rest of the coaching staff are ready and we all believe, you know, they all believe and, and they've got that ambition to really push, really try and push the the standards and really try and improve what they've got in that situation. You know, they've, they're, you know, a small town in Italy, you know, a beautiful little stadium, but they're not, you know, financially, they're going to struggle to compete with the Juventus, the Milan's, the Romas, where they're in major places in Italy and huge stadiums and huge institutions. Um... But let's see what happens with Como and Cesc Fabregas. You know, I think Thierry Henry had also invested in this. I don't think he's involved in the coaching side much um, because he's managing the French under-21s at the moment. Um, Thierry Henry, he's one with an interesting managerial career. Maybe we'll talk about that in, what, in one stream. Um, probably not this one, but I'm sure one stream we'll talk about him. But Cesc Fabregas managing Como, you know, dream scenario for me is him get a few years' experience here. Then he joins Mikel as an assistant at Arsenal and... You know, that, that would, that, I could die a happy man at that point, but we'll see what happens. I think Fabregas was a tremendous player. I think a lot of the best managers were midfielders. You know, we talk about Pep, we talk about Mikel. Um, i trying to think of who else. Yeah, you know, I'm sure there's more guys that come to mind, but a lot of the best players were previously, you know, centre mids that played in those deep line roles that were really able to see, you know, big amounts of the pitch to dictate, to you know, help dictate play. Um, so I think potentially we've got a potentially you know really good young up and coming manager with Fabregas here. We'll see what happens with Como. We'll see if he can keep them up because it's going to be a difficult season. You know they're going to be one of the favourites to go down. I would imagine surely. If if not, they'll be you know a lower half team. But we'll see because you know Fabregas if they've got some money behind them you know, from Fabregas and Thierry Henry. And the name Cesc Fabregas will be able to attract a certain calibre of player for sure. For sure that will attract a certain calibre of player. So we'll see what happens with Cesc there. Um, and, and we'll see what happens with Como. If they can stay up. If they can you know, start to build themselves and become an established Serie A team. And 
who knows in you know four or five years maybe pushing for those European spots uh, who knows you know stranger things have happened in football um, but I'd be really interested to see and follow Cesc Fabregas' career let me know what you guys think and um, where you'd like to see Cesc Fabregas manage next if you would want him to see him manage next you know I understand he's got a four year deal with Como and he, I think he is an investor there I think don't quote me I think he's an investor there so he may never want to leave he might say you know this is now my club I don't want to leave. So we'll see what happens there.